special at Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show that drove through Paris in a sports car with the warm wind in its hair and then got lost in France. Our two team captains for this special are my friend of the wind, Alan Bro, and the beloved White Rose of Athens, Miff Warhurst. <laughs> Alan's first guest tonight is an Australian music conductor who once during detention at school had to write out every word of Julius Caesar by hand. Big deal, so did Shakespeare. Please welcome Richard Gill. <laughs> The second team member is an Australian comedian from an Italian family who has been called the Italian Seinfeld. Uh, he likes to talk about nothing with his hands. Please welcome Joe Avati. Thank you. Miss first guest tonight is an internationally acclaimed singer-songwriter who manages to combine his Swedish upbringing with his newly adopted Australian culture. Not only does he play live gigs at Backyard Barbies, he puts the stage together himself with an Allen key. Please welcome Jens Lechman. <laughs> Uh, Miss Final Guest is a comedian and radio host who returns to the show tonight because of her love of all things European. Mm. She's into French kissing, Italian stallions, Swiss cheese and Dutch ovens. Please welcome <laughs> Michelle Lauren. <Lauren-Lauren. laughs> Did, let, sorry, just I hadn't seen you doing that face. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you know what I've come as? What? I've come as a fat old drag queen from Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Alan, clearly you've got a whole Demis Roussos vibe yeah, going Yeah, or on. it's a little bit Jesus as well, I sort of like. <laughs> There's a lot of detail gone to this. I'll turn around and you can see my back hair. <laughs> I've got to say, as Nana Muscuri, though, I am so strangely drawn to Alan right now. Yeah. Because, I mean, this is my childhood fantasy. We were meant to be together. <laughs> OK, let's go down the line. Jens, you have the whole craft work thing going on. Yes. Good. Um, and... <laughs> the problem with this outfit is that as soon as I smile, the outfit falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Richard, clearly you've dressed as Beethoven. I have. Uh, <clears throat> I said, you've dressed as Beethoven! <laughs> Lauter! Lauter, bitte! Oh. <laughs> You're a little bit Beethoven. You're a little bit B. Arthur from The Golden oh. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> Joe? Well, I, I feel like I should be in, uh, in an ad for advanced hair, yeah, yeah. Well, this is... <laughs> I'm Julio and uh, Iglesias, and and I'm kind of uh, uh, liking it because I'm fulfilling two dreams, which I've you know always wanted to do. One was to actually have hair like this, because if you know me, I don't have much hair. I could never do. <laughs> I've and got the news thing for is, you, you still can't. Yeah. <laughs> what I love with your outfit is what's going on below the desk, and more so below the knees. Yes. Can we get a parade of... Because it's the footwear that's done it all for me. Yeah, but you're one to talk about what's going on yeah. below the desk, my friend. Stand up. <laughs> The first game tonight is called Know Your Product. Uh, tonight, though, there are five questions on our special topic, which, of course, is Europa. But first, let's test our buzzers. Richard. Appropriate. Yes. Ooh. And Jens? <laughs> Excellent. Let's play Spicks and Specs. All right. Each team will be told an obscure fact with three possible endings. You have to tell me the correct ending. French composer Eric Satie... A. Only ate foods that were white. Mm. B. Kept his dead mother in a wooden box under the bed. <laughs> or C. Walked everywhere backwards, saying it offered him a more artistic perspective. Walking backwards everywhere would mm -hmm. be really, really hard. It would. Kept his dead mother in a wooden box under his bed. Maybe that was his mother's ashes. Maybe. Oh, yes. Only ate foods that were white. That would allow rice, white bread, potatoes, chicken, three week old dog poo. Yep. <laughs> Well, the French do eat a lot of white food. They do. They do. They're known for that. 
How yep. do you know that? I'm a food scientist by oh, profession. You. Oh. You're a food scientist yeah. by profession? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nothing brilliant. funny about what? it. <laughs> yeah. I was developing uh, the Magnum in Australia. <gasps> <gasps> I've never seen you more outraged in my life before. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I reckon it's got to be A then. He only ate foods that were white. The correct answer was French composer Eric Satie. A only yeah. ate foods that were white. Yeah. 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 Here are the scores. Nick, Jens, Michelle are on five points. Alan, Richard, Joe in front, 11 points. Tonight is called Apprentices Masters, and it's a new round just for this show. We have a gallery of album covers painted in the style of European masters. What you have to do is name the bands. Oh. Um, now, unfortunately, this means me getting up and walking over there. <laughs> do you want an escort? Um, no, I have prepared for this by uh, uh, bringing along uh, a cricket protector. How um, on earth are you going to get it down there? You're in a onesie. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. Well, <laughs> I saw a little bit too much then. No one's ever said that before. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I shall now make my way over to the. Uh... <laughs> nice. <laughs> I can't believe I get paid to do this. <laughs> I can't uh, believe if someone knocks on the front of you, it makes a hollow sound. <laughs> Miff, uh, oh. your team can pick the first work of art. Well, I think number one. Okay, yeah. we'll start with number one. Uh, number one is uh, in the style of Picasso. Uh, what I need you to do is name the artist. The artist. Is that a guitar? Um... Oh, it could be... Um... Oh, I'm trying to think is, who that could be. Guitar. Oh, That's I know. Violin, it's okay. Andre Rieu. Yeah. Surely. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Surely. Yeah, yeah I, think, I, I think you're absolutely right. Surely. That is a Picasso version of Romantic Moments by Andre Rieu. Oh. <laughs> Picasso, of course, was Cubist for a while, whereas Andre Rieu is just a square. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alan, Alan, the eyes, eyes, I'm up here. <laughs> it must be like two bald men in a sauna down there. <laughs> Can we go right to the other end, so to speak, and have number eight? You certainly can. <laughs> this is uh, in the style oh, of Van Gogh. I know that one. Oh, it's Rattle and Hum, you too. It is indeed Rattle and Hum. Well, well, you team will be singing well-known songs using the words of an unrelated piece of text. Your teammates have to identify the songs. Uh, Joe, you'll be singing first for Alan and Richard, and you'll be taking your lyrics from Heidi Grows Up by oh, Charles yeah. Tritton. Uh, that's your book. Those are your songs, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Avati. Okay. Heidi was perplexed what it possibly to have a mother, not a mama. Was it possible to be without a mother's love and yet not be an orphan, Heidi? Yes. Uh, to all the girls I've loved before. Yes, yes. it is. Julio Iglesias, Julio Iglesias. Yes, well done. Uh, song to peace. As they climbed higher up, the air became sharper. Perfume with herbs and flowers, the meadows were gay with colour. Then at the turn in the road, they suddenly saw the forkness illuminated. By the last rays of the sun, it towered above the other peaks. Majestic and awe-inspiring as it reflected all the brilliance of the sky on it. Yes. Finiculi, finiculi. Yes. Finiculi, finiculi. Yes, it is. Uh, and final song, please. She ran on and on ahead of all the others. Uh, o Sole Mio. Yes. It is O Sole oh, Mio. Yes, yes. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be my clue. Uh, you grew up in Australia. Yep. Did you grow up with Australian music around the house? Did you grow up with Italian music? Well, my father had just arrived in Australia before, about three or four years before I was born. So we listened to Italian pop music, things like Toto Cutugno, Eros Ramazzotti. And the thing about Italian uh, music is that uh, it's very, very big in other countries like Russia. What kind of songs were your, were your childhood songs? Sono l'Italiano, which is I Am an Italian. 
Uh -huh. I thought the good tune. Um, I could yep. listen to you say that, those things all night. Don't they sound beautiful when he says it? Looks like the drag queen's turning. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, speak What's a bit it? of Italian for us. Io italiano sempre, allora lei vede che. You say yeah. something about food science in Italian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. Io mi piace fare il magnum. Oh. <laughs> yeah. At the end of that round, scores are Miff, Jens, Michelle are on 11 points, Alan, Richard, Joe in front, 18 points. <laughs> At the end of our Europa special, the final scores were Miff, Jens, Michelle ended up with 12 points, but Alan, Richard, Joe won the day, 20 points. Oh, well done. <laughs> Would you please thank all our guests for tonight's show, Richard Gill, Joe Avati, Jens Lechman and Michelle Laurie. And of course, our two team captains, Alan Brown and Mick Warhurst. Well done. <laughs>